So, Sometimes they can't really conceptualize it. The Bible says that Jesus was sent to his own and his own received him not. It's because they couldn't understand it. It's okay. But your gifts are crying out. They need to be stirred. Hmm. Many of you probably should repent for being bored with them. You know, some of you, if you've been flowing in a gift so long and it becomes second nature, you treat it like furniture and you don't deepen it. And that's with every gift of the Spirit. You people that prophesy at the same level for years and then blame it on the minstrels, the sound, it's the sound. No, it's the size of your gift. Your gift is not in the command of anything externally but you and your capacity in it. Maybe if you put more Bible in there, you'd have more range. You ought to be convicted. <laughs> and some of you, I rebuked my staff about this. Some of you use for the excuse that when you're in a religious system, they work you so hard and so bad that you want to come over here. This ain't your oasis. This is not a sauna. This is not a vacation place for people who are tired of religion. You are not going to serve in Egypt and then come over here and chill in Canaan. How dare you? I did that at my old church. I'm going to just come here and chill. Oh, good way to give God glory. Preaching and teaching and ministering and directing choirs and singing. You want to come here and sit your tail at the back of the church thinking that God is not taking attendance. God called you. I understand that people get used and abused. At the end of the day, your refusal to use your gifts because of your experiences reveals idolatry. It's all about who you're going to obey. These people have not called you. God called you. He put the gifts in you. And if people never say thank you, I appreciate you. I recognize you. Or well, I'm who I am because you're who you are. Whatever. God keeps good records. Holy Spirit of God, I'm asking that over the next several minutes, I don't know exactly what to pray, but what I do know is that you're concerned about what you've invested in these people. Their ministry is not a talent show. Christianity is not something that we get to do on our own terms. Father, today we humble ourselves and we have full consciousness that you literally went to hell because of our gifts. And you didn't just die because of what was wrong with us. You died because of what was right in us and what you invested in us. And Father, the God of this age has blinded the minds of these people concerning what is in them. I'm praying for the spirit of wisdom and revelation. I'm also asking that you would begin to reveal your divine justice. Those who have been taken advantage of through the door of their gift, used through the door of their gift, abused through the doorway of their gift, and those who no longer have a desire for them gifts. Father, begin to reorientate them even now by the Spirit of God and give them a, a new hand, handle and even a fresh grip on their gifts in the name of Jesus. Those that have sacrificed their gifts, I hear this in the Holy Ghost, those that have sacrificed their gifts for their spouses uh, because they could not uh, want to uh, cause their spouses to feel insecure or uh, 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 overlooked or bizarre. Lord, I'm asking uh, that those that have surrendered their gifts uh, in the name of romance or in the name of popularity that you by your fire will begin to sanctify men in in this place you are the one that ascended but you could only ascend because you descended and you led captivity captive in the name of Jesus I rebuke and bind the power of rejection 
I said I rebuke and bind the power of rejection. Those of you that shut your gifts down because of who or what not would receive them. I come against the kingdom of rejection in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. There is a way to experience rejection without becoming rejected and one of the things that the devil does is for fear of rejection. He makes you suppress your gift but let there be a divine win right now of deliverance against the spirit of a rejection. Those of you that have been abandoned and, and dropped and pushed out because of your gift and you desire to have them honed and to have them under authority so you started to use them in illegal ways because you did not have help. I command the deception of loneliness to leave your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Your gifting is not punishing you. Your gift is not isolating you. Your gift is not arresting you. It's the only way you'll really feel free. Come on, teacher. Come on, psalmist. Come on, poet. Come on, writer. There are gifts in you. I want you to repent right now for dishonoring yourself. Come on. For dishonoring yourself. Come on. You are about to experience the full range of your salvation. You were saved to do more than say I'm sorry. You were saved to manifest the power of God on the earth through being a heavily endowed man and a heavily endowed woman. One that is stocked with gifts and abilities even the powers of the age to come. They are within you. Come on lift your hands and make that right. Come on. Come on. You know you've not been walking in your gift. You've not been pursuing it. I hear the spirit of grace saying walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you were called. You've got to live up to this gift. Hey, ho, oh, oh. ho. It's bigger than you as a person. You've got to live up to this thing. Come on. Let the gift be stirred. Let the gift be stirred. Let the gift be let the gift be stirred. Come on. Let the gift be stirred. Stir. There is a stirring. 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 A stirring, a stirring, a, a stirring, yeah! A brand new stirring, a fresh stirring, a brand new stirring, a fresh stirring, a brand new stirring, a fresh stirring, a fresh stirring, a brand new stirring. Be stirred, be stirred, be stirred, be stirred. Fan into flames the gift of God within you. Be stirred. Be stirred. Be stirred. Be stirred. Be stirred. God is doing something between you and your gifts. There are so many that it's frustrated you, it's distracted you. But deep within, you're being stirred up right now. Jesus said your fathers were evil. And if you asked them for bread, they wouldn't have given you a stone. How much more what you ask from the Father of lights, he will give you. He will give you. Come on. You've been asking. You've been seeking. And you've been knocking. And you thought that you were going to get 
get it from relationships but I challenge you Zion I challenge you Zion stir those gifts stir those gifts submit those gifts submit those gifts cultivate them gifts stir and study them gifts learn them gifts research them gifts come on Zion get in the right temperature Get in the right atmosphere and let the gift be stirred. Let the gift be stirred. Come on, Zion. There is a brand new stirring. There is a brand new stirring. There is a brand new stirring. Come on, your gifts. They're getting stronger. They're getting stronger. You went through hell so that the gift could be deepened. You went through treachery so that the gift could be deepened. You went through backstabbing so that the gift could be deepened. They so that the gift could go deep They swore So that the gift could go deep You were tested So the gift could get deep You were tempted So that the gift could be deep You were challenged So the gift could be deep You were put under limitation So the gift could be deep Couldn't retaliate So the gift could be deep Couldn't fight back So the gift could be deep Had to move So the gift could be deep Had to switch so the gift could be deep Had to change churches So the gift could deepen Had to switch pastors So the gift could be deepen Had to change careers So the gift could be deep Had to submit to fresh teaching So that the gift So that the gift So that the gift could be deepen You endured Chastisement You endured the rebuke of God was taken to the limit your patience was pushed to the max but it wasn't for practice it was for your gift i dare you oh son and daughter get a hold on the power within grab a hold on the depth within your potential is being poured out like oil from the alabaster box the thing within is smelling like frankincense get ready for the aroma of your life to flood brand new rooms get ready for the aroma of your life to flood the boardroom when you walk in the scent of your suffering the aroma of your anointing is gonna begin to flood it's gonna begin to feel it's gonna begin to surround yeah it's gonna feel and stretch out in the name of Jesus the Lord God is walking to and fro throughout the earth looking for someone that he may show himself strong in he's trying to show himself in your gift in your speaking in your teaching in your dancing in your drawing in your planning in your strategy through your creativity through your dress through your appearance through the way you walk through the way that you talk yeah God is moving in every area of your life get ready your personality is about to change your language is about to change your posture is about to change stature about to change your range is about to change get ready there is a fresh baptism of steel of skills of skills competencies are changing in you you are moving Yes, the wind of God, breath of God, fire of God upon your gift. Yeah, you ain't gonna be like the next rapper. You will not be like the next politician. You're gonna do it differently. And through your difference, I said through your difference, I said through your difference, there will be strong deliverance, strong deliverance, strong deliverance, strong deliverance. Strong deliverance. He lives captivity captive come on depression my gift is stronger than my feelings my gift is stronger than my pain my gift is stronger than my stress my gift is stronger than my fears oh yes God my gift is stronger than persecution my gift stronger than popularity you don't have to like me but respect the gift 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 come on all nations something is turning over in your belly something is turning in your heart something is turning in your mind the gifts are coming the gifts are flowing
sing, yes Lord, I see ladders, I see ladders, and angels ascending and descending to stir up, to stir up, to stir up. The gift of God, you're gonna know stuff and not know how you know it. You're gonna say stuff and not know how to say it. Jesus said, If you open your mouth, I will fill it and I'll give you a word and wisdom that your enemies will not be able to withstand you. Don't be afraid. Behold, I give unto you power, 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 power to tread upon serpents treading upon scorpions and over all all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you hurt you kill you your gift has given you immunity in the spirit as long as you're serving long as you're moving long as you're leading you'll stay alive God is not going to allow the devil to kill you while the gift is in you stir it up it'll extend your days stir it up it'll open up favor stir it up i want to hear you scream in here come on scream a piece of your personal fulfillment that you can never see until you have a right relationship with your gift. You'll always feel like something is missing. I always feel like something is after your peace. There are things in you that you've been treating as natural, but they are not. I want you to make a, a covenant with God. That word has been ringing in the spirit. I, I feel prophetically that this is a season of fresh covenants. I feel prophetically that God is one of the things that is coming and I want you to hear this. We, we'll move but I say this to you all nations as a prophet of God. God's rebuke to this entire movement is that we've excelled in everything but letting go of the past. There was a chastisement of the Spirit because we're not working hard enough to let the past go. We 
can't hypocritically tell the world that we're citizens of the future while we're struggling with what's in the past. And I know you don't understand how that's related to your gifts, but if you think about why you won't use them, and why you won't excel with them, you have comparisons and contrasts of past experiences. Father, I'm asking that you would breathe in this place. You are the only one that can heal. It's only you. You, you can heal. You, you are that balm. And I'm asking, Lord, that you would do something across all campuses of this movement, starting with the main one, where you would teach us to let go of the past. Our own and other people's help us. So you, you ought to lift your hands there. God's trying to do something with that. God's trying to do something in your life regarding the past. He, he really is. The, the things about your past or the past, you cannot control them. But the warning is, if you let it, it can control you. Father, I, come on, just read loose ourselves. I, I want you to just, I know we're late, but just let yourself go from that stuff. You can forget. Come on, let yourself go. Come on, I, I, I let it go. I, I, and when it tries to come back, I'm going to fight it. I don't want to live there. I only want to live in my future. That's the only thing I'm focused on. Come on. Some of you have been so used to, to loss that, that that's been the only way God's had to teach you is through losing things. But he's trying to teach you a, a more better way, a perfect way, a more excellent way. By his spirit. Let a healing anointing come upon this place to do things internally that'll help them let go of the past. The past, the past wants to bury your gifts. I got hurt trying to prophesy. I ain't doing that no more. I got hurt under prayer. I ain't praying no more. I got wounded. I was an armor bearer, but they ain't never seen me. All of that in your heart has everything to do with flesh and nothing to do with God's real reward system. I want you to focus. Father, I'm asking that however you're going to do this, do it. Do it in the hearts of your people concerning your gifts. And those that are desirous to be used of you in different ways, you are the gift giver. We posture ourselves before you to receive. Teach us. appreciate that you serve a gift-giving God. I want you to give him a shout of praise. I want you to shout like he literally went to hell for you. If you really think about it, it'll mess with you. He went to hell for you. Come on, praise him for what he did on day two. Hallelujah. I'll use my gifts to glorify you of you were blessed by that. I want you to hear me. Don't ever let the devil have your gift. Don't let him have it. Don't let people have it. And don't you get common with it. Something I'm always trying to have the fear of God about is my own view of my gifts. Sometimes when it's all you've known, you treat it indifferently. And I want you to walk in a reverential fear with every ability God has given you.